this is a lesson on conservation of energy. Conservation of energy. Conservation of energy means <clears throat> the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy does not change. That's what conservation means. Now let us do an example, which is from the book Pearson, uh, Physics Source, Physics Source 11, and page 180. The example says that you have a roller coaster train. The roller coaster train slides from a high hill and a low hill and uh, so forth. So this is the diagram. At the beginning, the roller coaster train is at the top of the first hill uh, in, this, in this position. Now, the height of the first hill is 85 meters above the ground. So 85 meter above the ground. Now it slides with a velocity of uh, 0 0.2 meter per second. OK, you see? It slides down the first hill uh, to the bottom here. And then it goes up to the second hill. Now the second hill is uh, 64 meter, 64 meter above the ground. Now this is my ground. Okay. So what does uh, the conservation of energy say? It says, the sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy here is equal to the sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy here. So I have a student. Uh, he does conservation of energy, and he does it correctly. What I want to say here is just to make some comments of his work. So let me first write down his work. OK, so this is what he wrote. He's, he wrote down energy, gravitational energy at one. So one means this location. At one, which is mgh, and this is 841. Now, what is 841? It is given the mass of this roller coaster train. Its mass is 841 kilogram. So it is mgh, g is uh, 9.8, and h is 85. So he does this and use a calculator. He got 700553 joules. Then the next find the kinetic energy at position one, the kinetic energy here. So the velocity is given, so it's easy. So that's what he wrote. So one half mv square, and this is equal to one half times 841 and times 0 0.2 square. And work this out. It's 16.82 joule. Now at position two, you find again 
the gravitational potential shear energy at position 2 is mgh. And m, of course, is the same. 841 times 9.8 times h is 64. And this comes out to be 5274.75 decimal 2 joules. And the kinetic energy at position 2 is, of course, the same formula, one half mv squared. What we want to find in this question is to find the velocity at this point. So the velocity at this point is what? So this is my unknown. Let's put in numbers. 841 times v squared and you have 420.5 v squared. Now, let's see, uh, do we see that? Mm, EG2, okay, so. Okay, I need to write this way, maybe the uh, this is outside the uh, uh, area of my uh, video camera. So it's 841 times v squared. So this is equal to 420 decimal 5 v squared. All right. All right. This, I think it's within our uh, video range, uh, video uh, area. So now, continue. Use conservation of energy. At position one, gravitational energy plus kinetic energy should equal to, at position two, gravitational energy plus kinetic energy. Therefore, you have this. You have therefore you have 70053 five, plus 16.82. Uh, this should equal to uh, 527475.2 five, plus 420.5 five, v squared. That's my conservation of energy. Look here. You have only one unknown, which is v squared. Therefore, you can find v squared. Uh, uh, let's see now. Uh, v squared. All right. So uh, v, finally, v is equal to 20 decimal to 8 meter per second. Oh, I forgot to mention that this, in this question from page 180, uh, it is not to find V, I'm sorry. The question is asking, what is the kinetic energy at position two? So energy kinetic at position two is what? Instead of V, instead of velocity at this point. But we first find the V, and once we have the V, of course, we have the energy kinetic at position two. And uh, this you can one half times 841 times this squared, so 20 to eight squared. And then uh, my student worked it out. Uh, this is equal to uh, 172736 decimal 93, and this is equal to 173. KJ. And this is the answer given by the book. Okay. Book's answer. And you see they all agree. So that's very good. So what remarks I like to make? One thing is about writing. 
I do not recommend you write one half like this. Do not write one half like this. I recommend you write one half like this. Do not use a slash. That's my first comment. I have a reason. Suppose you have one half times ABC. Okay. Suppose I have one half times ABC. What you mean is one half multiply ABC. That's what the meaning is. But your writing is misleading because your writing may be this is what you mean. So, I don't want you to write this. You, I recommend you write, if you have one half times ABC, you write one half ABC. Then, this is definitely ABC over two. It's not one over two ABC. Understand? So that's my first recommendation. Then the next thing I want to, uh, I want to say is that you can use a shorter way of doing the same question. A shorter way of doing the same question. So how do I do that? All right. What do I mean by a shorter way? The same question, okay? The same question. So I have, uh, let me redraw the, the diagram. So I have one higher uh, here and one lower here. So the higher one is 50, uh, 85, and this one is 64. And I have a roller coaster train here and the roller coaster train later position, beginning here and the later here. So this is this V is 0 0.2. Uh, this kinetic energy, I don't know. That's what you want. So given this, the heights, and you want to find this. What I want to say is this. Conservation of energy. One way of saying conservation of energy is not to say the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy are conserved, they do not change. Another way of saying it is that if there is energy transformation, if one form of energy is transformed to another form of energy without loss, then they must be equal. In this case, you can say the energy here, it's uh, kinetic plus kinetic uh, plus potential. Energy here, also kinetic plus uh, potential. This energy is transformed to this energy without loss. So one thing we need to be very flexible is that the potential energy has a reference level. Now, in the uh, work by my student, he chose this ground level as a reference level for zero potential energy. Why don't you choose this? Why don't you choose this level as zero potential energy level? So let's choose this as zero level. The advantage of doing this The advantage of doing this, zero, choosing this le zero level here, is for position two, I do not have potential energy because it's zero. Therefore, my writing will be simpler. So, let's uh, have this. Using this as, as my zero level. So, the uh, kinetic energy is uh, the potential energy is m g h. Now, with this level, what is the h? h is this difference. 
And this difference is 85 minus 64. <clears throat> 85 minus 64. Oops, 85 minus 64, sorry. Minus 64 is 21. So my height is 21. That's a potential energy. Uh, that's a kinetic energy. Now the potential energy is one half. Now remember, I recommend writing one half like this, not using a slash. One half m v square. V is 0 0.2 square. And this is equal to the energy here. Now here, by choosing the zero level here, you do not have the potential energy. Therefore, all the energy is kinetic. So one half 841 times v squared. Look, this is the kinetic energy we want to find. You don't need to find v first. You just find the kinetic energy. So this is the kinetic energy. So what is the kinetic energy? Uh, Ek at position two. It is just this part. Right? It is just this part. Now use your calculator to do this part in one step. You do not need to write down the answer for this part, answer for this part, and add. You don't need to do that. You use the calculator to do it in one step, and you get 173094.62. decimal six two. And if you round it, it's 173 kilojoule. That is much simpler than the work of my student. Do you get it? When I say you use your calculator to do this step in, uh, to do this calculation in one step, I'll show you how you do it. You enter the number 841. You enter multiply. You enter 9.8. And you enter multiply. And you enter 21. And you enter plus button. And you enter 0 0.5 instead of 1 over 2. And you enter uh, plus, uh, multiply. And you enter 841. And you enter 0 0.2. And you enter, oh, you enter multiply. I forgot, I forgot to so, uh, put in the square. And enter this, and you want to square it. Square it is x, you enter this x square, okay. And then what do you do? You enter the equal sign. You get this answer, uh, you get this answer right away. So one, in one step, you do it, okay? Do not write the numbers, <laughs> each step. You don't need to do that because you are already grade 11 or grade 12. Remember that? Okay, that's my first example. Uh, I will give you the next example later on using another uh, uh, video uh,